Jim Kitai. The company is Bedrock Real Estate Services. Bedrock does the acquisitions, the renovations, construction, management, leasing, everything involved with the real estate. Um, and then once they're acquired, they're owned by an umbrella entity known as Rock Ventures. So the concept is we're going to continue to fill up Detroit, downtown Detroit, and uh, you know there's no longer this need for manufacturing plants. You don't need these big, huge buildings anymore. People like the Googles and the Groupons are forming these companies that are tech companies, and they're able to just grow their companies by adding computers and people, and that's kind of the, the way things are going. So. We are recreating Detroit. It'll be a new Detroit, something different than what Detroit once was, because you gotta get people to live there, work there, and play there. And which comes first? It's hard to say which comes first, and this is a little bit of that Big Bang approach. And um, by having the people down there, it has created this desire, and this demand to have the retail there, to have the residential there. And it's not just us, because one company alone can't do it. It's, it's a movement that we have started a movement and Blue Cross Blue Shield has moved thousands of their people down and Compuware has moved thousands of their people down. General Motors has thousands of their people. So it started out as we got to take that step. We have to do something to start creating this movement down there. Detroit has a beautiful historic skyline the buildings are, you know, a lot of history and they're great looking buildings. And so we are doing everything to maintain that quality of the history of Detroit and all our renovations. The other thing that we have done is every new building, um, well, not new or old, any building that we're involved with will have first floor retail. And we do this because you know, we know that you gotta create that ground floor energy and you know, if by having the retail on the first floor, people are going to be walking, you know, to their offices, to their homes, back and forth and creating what every urban environment needs, which is that vibrance. Suburban um, location, in my opinion, really needs that core, successful, vibrant downtown. Um, and that's been evidenced by the majority of people that were graduating from our universities were taking jobs elsewhere. And like I said, they were doing that because they wanted to be in an urban environment. So we had to stop that. We had to say, it's time to have that urban environment that these people want to be in, in their own hometowns. Because I think people generally want to be close by to their families um, and where they grew up. but. We had to figure out a way to let that happen while still being close by. These young you know, professionals want to be in these environments, these urban environments. So if we can create more things to attract these young people to stay in Detroit or move to Detroit, that in turn is going to help the businesses. We are attracting a lot of other developers who are now looking in the city and looking downtown to be a part of it and to you know, acquire buildings or, you know, maybe build some, some ground up buildings. So it's been great to see other people, you know, jump on the bandwagon and say, you know what, I want to be a part of this too. And the more we do and the more other people do, obviously it's the movement, it's attracting other people. Every person that has moved down there that I have encountered that is now working down in Detroit um, has given positive feedback. So to me, that, that says a lot, you know, you're, they could be complaining about the commute, they could be complaining about, you know, the parking, whatever it is, but nobody is complaining, they're all giving positive feedback, and that's huge. I encourage everyone to come visit Detroit and be, be a part of what's going on there, because it's really, it's really something to see.